Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video, and today we're going to look at Meowth EX in the new format. Of course, Meowth is a fan favorite card, and I love making videos on Meowth and it is time to try it out in the new standard format and see if it's any good. Because I will say this, Meowth didn't really lose anything with rotation. I mean, yeah, okay, it lost Medicham, Yoga Loop, that's about it, and I don't even think that's that big of a loss. In fact, it probably got a bit better because now this deck has access to Buddy Buddy Poffin to set up your board. So I've decided to base my Meowth lists off of towards EUIC winning Charizard deck. We're of course going to be playing the Pidgeot EX in the deck and the Bibril in the deck too and the Cleffas in the deck to also help us set up. I'm not playing Rodom V. That's like the one difference I'm not playing is the Rodom. I don't know. Rodom's okay in here I guess. You can maybe fit it but I'm just going to be sticking to the Cleffas for my setup. But I do really like the idea of both Pidgeot and Bibril as your engine within the deck. I think there is a lot of value in having the split package. Of course, Meowth does have that ability, a Bokeh Magic, which you must discard a basic grass energy from your hand, but you can put three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, of course, this is like the spiritual successor to the Rapid Strike engine, which obviously did rotate. This ability is nice. Of course, if you have multiple Meowth in play, you can chain this ability and put 60 damage on a Pokemon. This is pretty good. Sometimes you can set up Pokemon to be KO'd down the road, or you can even set up Pokemon to be knocked out by TM Devolution, which goes a long way when playing against something like Shempow or, of course, Charizard EX, which Charizard can still be tough because they have that annoying Fire Radiant Charizard, which can still give you some problems. Of course, one of the main things in the deck is the Radiant Alakazam. Miascarada does, of course, have that attack, Scratching and Nails, that for a double turbo energy does 100 damage, and if your opponent's active already has damage on it, you can do 120 more damage, which is, of course, 220 damage. If you have a double turbo on, you're probably doing 200 damage, which means if you go Bokeh Magic, plus Radiant Alakazam's Painful Spoons ability, move two damage counters from a Pokemon that you Bokeh Magic'd, you can put the two damage on the active, and then do 220 damage with Meowth Karata, and that is one of the benefits of doing it. I've also decided to put Maximum Belt in the deck as my A spec over anything like Prime Catcher, mainly because we can do some extra damage with Meowth Karata, and this actually fixes the math, even against stuff like Pidgeot EX down the road, and of course, against bulkier EX Pokemon. But yeah, before we get into the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TC Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern Card Council's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking to pick up any Temporal Forces pack codes or an older set or some IRL Pokemon singles and product card capsules, all that over there. If you can think at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure to check out the Shuffle Squad down below and my second YouTube channel. I'm on the road to 13,000 subs over on the second channel, so definitely go subscribe to it down below. And uh, without further ado, let's take a look here at the list. So this is my Meowth Karata list I am working with. Like I said, I've based it off of the Tor deck with the Pidgeot and the Bibarel. We got the Radiant Alakazam for Arvin, for Iono, um, two bosses, and we got the one Turo scenario. Turo's nice because Alakazam can be a liability that your opponent can trap, and Turo does actually let you do double Alakazam in a turn, which is actually kind of cool. So there is some cool synergies you can do with the Turo scenario. Um... We got five at Grass Energy, mainly because Meowth Grotta can work with a double Turbo Energy. We don't really need to play, like, that much Grass. I've seen this play, like, up to seven, but I think five is fine. Now that we have Earthen Vessel in the format, it's easier to find Grass Energy. It essentially turns your Arvin into an Earthen Vessel, which can turn it into a Grass Energy. Um... And yeah, we got the double Cleffa for the setup. Not playing Rodarm or anything like that. Just decided to play it safe and play Cleffa. Um, that's really about it for the list. Not much more to talk about. I think it's time to get into some Meowth Karata action. All right, get in this game. We're up against Shen Pao. Oh, boy. Uh, this matchup could be scary just because Shen Pao can one-shot Meowth Karata. The best thing we have right now is the TM Devolution against these Fridgies. So we're going to have to try to take advantage of that. Uh, the turn one's decent. We can do a couple things. They got the turn one buddy, but do they have anything else, though? Yeah, I think our, our angle this game is to probably just try to cripple their setup a little bit with uh, TM Devo. That's really all I can do. No, oh, they have Ultra Ball. That's pretty good. They have playable cards. That's not good. We don't like it when the opponent can play the game. Ooh, they get rid of a Fridgey and a Bidoof, though. Especially the 70 HP Fridgey being pretty valuable against my uh, Meowskarada. Oh, my God. They had all that in their hand, bro. No shot. That's a pretty good hand. Oh, my goodness. Dude, yeah, this is pretty scary. If they have, like, an Irida, we're cooked. Do they have Greninja? All right, well, they could have nothing in their hand, or they could just have Irida and just the Absolute Stones. It's one of the two, 100%. One of the two. Okay, we have Bibbrel, Mioscarada. 
Team Devo's in there. We did prize our max on belt, though, which is fine. Shouldn't really be a big deal. Just Arvin again. Just get double buddy. Set up our board a little bit. Oh, I did prize Manaphy, actually. Oof, that's pretty bad. I'm just going to gamble and hope they don't Greninja me here. Uh, yeah, we did prize our Manaphy, so that's not fantastic either. All right, well. Prize Manaphy sucks. Let's uh, Cluff and Prey. That's a pretty good Cleffa. All right, we will take it. All right, let's see if my opponent has the uh, knockout here with the rare candy backs caliber. Iron Hands, no way they can pull that off. No, I knew they had a Bibberol, bro. No. Oh, that's bad. They had a Bibberol in hand. They do attach to Shampao, though, which means they can't go Iron Hands this turn. So that's good. All right, if like if they Greninja me, it is GG's, I guess. This is going to pray they don't get Greninja. We want to make sure we're setting up damage. So if they do whiff here, we can try to get some damage set up with the uh, Meowskarada on their bench. So I can de-evolve their Bax Calibers. That's our win con, basically, in this matchup. Need to set my board up, too, before reading Greninja. They don't have it. Let's go. I don't really want to Iono them, to be fair, but might have to. It's actually an interesting decision. Do I want to take the... Ultra Ball. Should I just go Meowskarada and just say screw the Pidgeot? Honestly, I'm very much tempted to. I do want to get Pidgeot on play, though, but I don't want to Iono them because they aren't doing anything with their hand. I want to give them more cards. I think it's honestly fine to just get Meowskarada here. We might just Cleffa again in all honesty. Like, I'm kind of down just to do that. Because I don't want my opponent... I'm not going to Iono them. They aren't doing anything, right? So there's no point. They can't draw any more cards with Bibberol because they kind of clogged their hand up a little bit, so... It's not a big deal. We can just sit here and grasping draw again. That seems fine. Because I can just, like, chill for a bit. My opponent's not doing much, so I'm not going to bother... I'm not going to bother going in with Meowskarada. I guess I could have KO'd the Shempow here, but it's fine. Yeah, I guess I could have knocked out the Shempow, but... I mean, if they just KO my Meowskarada back, then it's pretty bad. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to chill. Like as, long, like, as long as they can't do anything, I don't really care. Like, as long as they don't have her candy backs caliber, it's fine. I'd rather set my board up than just go knock out Shempao and get killed in return, potentially, and then just probably lose the game. So this is fine. We can knock him out next turn, which is probably what I'm going to do. But this just gives me more time to keep setting my board up. I want to set my board up. That's the thing. Ooh, they do have boss. Bye-bye, Pidgey. Probably? Yeah, rip Pidgey. That's fine. Not a big deal. That's why we got the Bibberol. Tord innovated, and it paid off. The Tord build worked. Okay. I still don't want to Iono. <laughs> I think we just Arvin. I actually still don't want to Iono my opponent. Because they're not doing anything, obviously. They don't have anything in their hand. There's no reason to Iono. Okay, what's our top deck? Ooh, boss. Okay, we can just do this instead. This is pretty sick. Uh, okay, magic. Knockout. Kick a prize. Nice. Good prize. Any boss? Bring that out. Attach. Uh, knockout? No, we're gonna... Ultra Ball for another Meowskarada. I should... Well, I could also get Bibberol here. I'm gonna get another Meowskarada. So I can Bokeh Magic again. I don't really care about Bibberol right now. It's fine. We can Bokeh Magic. Probably put 30 on Shempow. We do have Alakazam, though. Yeah, let's put 30 on the back of the Bibberol. Because I'm probably, like... If we go for the TM Devo play at some point, right? We can knock out uh, Bibberol. So let's just do this. Take out both Fridgies. All right, let's see what our prices. Okay, cool. All right, this is looking pretty good. My opponent cannot attack next turn and knock me out. They can attack for 120, but then I just knock them out. So I'm probably going to win this game now because they didn't get anything. And they also lost all their Fridgy backs, so they have to get super odd with this Irida. So, yeah. My opponent can still do stuff, but I can take another Fridgy backs out next turn, probably with double thing. We can finally Iono them. I think we're now going to just have to go for the Iono. But, yeah. That's why I didn't I own them earlier, because, like, they just didn't have anything in their hand. Like, 
There's no point of playing the Iono. They can't use Bibberol, so it was, it was fine to just kind of sit on the hand, and it paid off because it gave us time to set up our board, and now we have two Meowscarados. We're in a commanding position. They can't knock me out this turn. We're in a very good spot. The one downside with our setup is we prized our mana fee. My opponent did put uh, another two prizer down, though, so my wind clock could just be knockout Shen Pao, kill Iron Hands for game. We have that maximum belt chilling in the deck, which could be a big part of us taking a knockout here. So I think we're in uh, cruise control right now. 70 HP Fridgy is kind of annoying, but not a big deal. All right, let's see what our top deck is. DTE. Um, do I bother benching this thing? I don't want them to build a Greninja for two prizes. But, I, yeah, I probably don't bench another guy for now. Okay, bull. Let's go Bokeh Magic. Uh, probably put 30 damage on the Fridgy, I guess. Sure. And then we'll... Do I ever Turo here? Do I really want to Iono them? I actually, honestly, now I'm second guy. No, I think we do Iona. I need to find Bibberol. Yeah. I'm not going to bench Spirit Gate you because I don't want my opponent to be able to Greninja kill Cleffa and then one other guy. Just in case. No Bibberol still. Where's Bibberol Abro? Okay, if we don't get set up soon, this actually could be pretty bad. <laughs> not going to lie. This could be pretty bad. I mean, if they go Greninja, it's not a big deal. Maybe we... Nah, you know what? Maybe I just bite the bullet and just grab, like, Pidgey. If they Greninja these two, so be it. I want to get Pidgeot set up. Yeah, whatever. We'll bite the bullet. It's fine. If they Greninja, they Greninja. Let's see what our prizes are. Mana fee, max belt. Those are pretty good prizes. I did... Honestly, I didn't prize check. I didn't know the maximum belt was prized. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of scary. Honestly, not having Bibberol in place is pretty bad. Maybe, uh, maybe I should just grab Bibberol instead of the Meowscarada. Maybe I got a little too greedy. Probably did. I think we're still in a fine spot, but we'll see. We will see. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I could always just go into Cleffa for a turn. Even if they iron hands, like, okay, I got Max Belt Meowscarada. You're dead. We'll see what's up. Can they finally get backs out? They have to evolve the other Fridgy backs. They play Luminion? What? They had that in their deck? Okay. Alrighty then. Sure. That's fine. Well, okay, well, here's the thing. If they go Greninja here, they can't knock out... Meowscarada. Actually, yeah, this is totally fine. I actually don't even care if they go Greninja, because they're not killing Meowscarada kill Meow anyways. That's fine. They need a lot. They need Retrieval, Rare Candy, Bax Caliber. Okay, they do need a lot here, and they're going to Bibberol with the Codebreaker. That makes it a little bit easier for them to whiff, hopefully. They probably have Superior in hand. They haven't played one yet, so they probably just have it in hand, to be honest. They haven't really played one, so, yeah. But now they have a small hand. Ooh, and their Prime Catcher gets discarded. That's huge. They're board locked too at the moment. If they want to unboard lock themselves, they have to use Aqua Return, which I'm fine with. Okay. Honestly, Cleffa might be the play. Instead of just taking out Greninja. I don't know. Because I can't win next turn. There's no way to take two prizes at the moment. I'll say, literally, if I top deck boss, we win the game. Or rare candy. Well, no, they're going to kill Pidgey, though. Okay, we'll see what they do. They could put 90 on Meowscarada to set it up to be KO'd. Never mind. I thought they're going to put 90 on Meowscarada to Iron Hands it. Actually, wouldn't have been a terrible play, but whatever. Okay, this is fine. Let's see what our top deck is. I mean, I guess we'll bench that. It doesn't really matter now. Put that there. Play Iono. And we're kind of praying we get uh, Energy or potentially Bibberol. Ultra Ball. Nope. We got Boss. We have a game next turn. I actually don't kill the Greninja, I don't think, right? Because they're not... The worst thing they can do is Iron Hands next turn. So it's actually probably correct to just not knock out Greninja here. So they're board... Because they're board locked. So unless they're playing something weird like a Turo, which I... No way. <laughs> no way. I'm going I'm to leave them board locked. I'm not going to bother KOing this Greninja. I don't want them to bench a Shampoo and knock me out. Not that it... I mean, we have game anyways if they do that, but... I can't really get punished for this either because my opponent can't win either this turn. So it's fine. We just have boss for a game, right? So I'll just hold the hand. They could have a vacuum. They're playing Luminion. They could be playing vacuum because they are playing a bit of a weirder list with like boss fish and stuff. So I don't know. But I'm forcing them to do awkward return here to be able to bench something. And then I just win the game by bossing iron hands. So I think this is dub play for sure. And if I had energy, I also could just KO Greninja here and then just like KO whatever they bring in. But yeah, I'm, I'm down to keep them board locked. Yeah. 
they can't take a prize this turn, and we just have game in hand. And Irida, as long as they don't play a Lost Vacuum, we have a game on the Iron Hands EX. That's not a Lost Vacuum. That is a Kyogre. Like I said, if they don't vacuum here, we win on the Iron Hands. I see. What is bro cooking? Are they overcooking or are they cooking? Are they undercooking? Let's see. I mean, if for whatever reason, we can't win next turn. If they actually have a vacuum in their hand, we could boss kill their Baxcalibur and just, like, make it even harder for them. Catch into the Iron Hands. Okay. They can't go Iron Hands this turn because then I just, like, win by bossing them. They basically have to go Awkward Return and then hope that I don't have game. Little do they know I have game. Yeah, they have to, like, they literally have to lost vacuum me here. No way they have it. Counter catcher. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, never mind. They're not going to take a prize. Okay. I thought they were going to bring in Alakazam. Um, that's fine. Okay, sure. All right, we win. Maximum belt carried us to a dub. Let's go. This is why I'm playing the maximum belt in the deck. Prime catcher would be good in this deck, too, in all honesty. Um, especially because sometimes you can force a Pokemon on the bench so you can KO with Bokeh Magic. But as you can see, the Maximum Belt is a very good card in this scenario here. Without it, we were very much not winning this game. As you can see, it's a pretty valuable card. And it just won us the game against Shen Pao. Let's go. That's a dub. Yeah, I think we played this well. Again, I like the idea of just kind of setting our board up instead of just like going aggressive on the Shen Pao because it could have got ugly for sure, especially because I prized Mana Fee, right? So I was pretty down to just go set my board up a little bit knowing they didn't have anything and it paid off. We got the we got the dub. It was, it was looking pretty good. Up against Charizard, I think. Judging from the Cleffa start, now we are playing Meowskarada, so we should be chilling. And our turn one isn't bad. Thankfully, we can't get killed by a Heat Tackle Charmander unless we're playing Vitality Band, which I doubt. So... We have turn two Meowskarada. We can also go turn two Pidgeot. It's probably better to go Pidgeot here. We have a decent hand, so we'll just try to make the most of our hand here. Okay, there's Ultra Ball. Hmm. Ooh, TM Devo getting discarded. This might be the top four list, though, with the double TM Devo, which is a bit of a problem. We gotta be a little mindful of our rare candies. So we don't wanna spam them. But Charizard is a good matchup for Meowskarada, so we'll see what we top deck here. Vessel, okay. It's going to have to be the discard of choice so I can grab this Pidgeot. If we had something like Iron Bundle in the deck, we could have forced the Cleffa on the bench knocked it out with uh, our ability. That would have been kind of sick, actually, but we don't. Okay. We got the Miascarada. We got the ability to... We can put 30 somewhere. I'm trying to think where the 30 damage would be best. Be best to probably put it on the Charmander. I guess. I'm thinking about putting it on like the Pidgey. Because if they don't get Pidgeot. Because they like they might not have her candy charge or Pidgeot, right? So I'm like thinking to put it there. Uh we can go kill the Charizard the next turn. Yeah, I'm down to the I'm down to do this. Cause now my I'm forcing my opponent to basically have the rare candy uh Pidgeot and Charizard. Because we can take out their Pidgey if they don't have it. Okay, let's see what our prize is here. Nice. That's a really good prize. Because now I can actually play um, a supporter, too, on top of the Pidgeot. I need to get Bidoof in play, though. We need to set up a little bit more. We didn't get a Buddy Buddy Poffin, obviously, off of the Iono there. But we have a pretty good setup right now. We got Pidgeot. We got Meowskarada in play. I basically got to hope I didn't Iono my opponent into the Bananas, a.k.a. double rare candy combos. I don't care if they get Charizard. If they get the Pidgeot and the Charizard, it's going to... We're going to have some problems. We're going to have some problems. I get both of them. That'd be pretty bad. They have no Rodom in play, though, so there's, like, no Forest Seal target. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes Charizard does draw the bananas. Oh, I don't like that. They had a Nest Ball. No, they... Oh, my God. Are they actually going to get the double stage, too? We can play into TM Devo, obviously, which isn't that bad, but that's... Yeah, rip. They actually managed to pull it off. I can knock out Rodom this turn, though, if I want. Don't think that's necessary. I think we just keep trucking away at these Charizards and try to take a small Pokemon out at some point. <clears throat> that's probably going to be the game plan here, unfortunately. I mean, maybe they don't have double rare candy combo here. I got to hope they don't, but they probably do. Yeah, damn it. That's annoying. That's really annoying. All right, well, now we have to figure out a different strategy. Because so I really wanted to kill their Pidgey there and not let them get a Pidgeot set up, but nothing I can do about it. 
We can go for... I mean, we probably just knock out the Charizard, to be honest. We'll kill the Charizard, and then we can go from there. Assuming they get a Charizard here. Do they have Buddy Poffin and Charmander? That'd be pretty good. We can knock out Charizard and Charmander, actually, with double bouquet magic, potentially. Okay, they don't have it. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Huge. Huge, if true. We got ourselves a Cleffa. Do I dare bench it? Yeah, sure. A Liono. I might as well just go for the double, try to keep setting up our board a little bit. Okay, we got Bidoof. No grass energy, though, is unfortunate. Kind of sucks we didn't get a grass. Not gonna lie. Would have been nice to see a grass energy. Hmm. Okay, well, let's quick search for uh, probably, yeah, this guy. I, to be fair, maybe I don't want to go a little aggressive on the knockouts. My opponent actually could kill my Pidgeot here. I just realized Pidgeot could get knocked out if I kill Charmander. Because they can, they'll go to 240, Maximum Belt to 90. I'm right. I'm just going to hope that my Pidgeot doesn't die here. There's actually a chance I can kill Pidgeot, which is kind of scary. We got Bidoof in play, though. So if we can draw into a playable card, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. We got Ultra Ball. We're cooking. Yeah, I was going to say, because they can knock out my Bidoof here, which would be pretty bad. Would not appreciate that at all. Or knock out my Pidgeot, sorry. Because they can go Maximum Belt Charizard for 290 damage. Because <clears throat> I've taken two prizes. That would not be good. I guess if I took out double Charmander, they could have killed my Meowskarada in one hit, which would not have been good either. Um, but that would have been okay. Because, like, I'm returning the KO on them every time. It's not that big of a deal. Would have been nice to get some energy there, though, just to get more damage on the board. Because I do want to KO something with TM Devo at some point. Like, this Pidgeot, we're going to have the TM Devo probably to knock out. All right, they have the Ultra Ball here. I wonder if I should have benched Alakazam. Because I guess, actually, if they put a Mist Energy on the Pidgeot, I can't use Alakazam, I don't think, on the Pidgeot. I actually, I actually just realized that. That is actually pretty bad. Yeah, if they go Mist Energy on Pidgeot, I can't Alakazam damage counters on it. That's a slight issue. Hmm. That could actually be a little awkward. All right, we'll see if they can knock out my Pidgeot here. They need a Maximum Belt, a Gusting Card, and a Rare Candy Charizard. Can they do all of that? Let's see. Ooh, they can go Radiant Zard knockout. It looks like that's what they might be doing. This makes it even worse with energy then, because then I can't knock out the Charmander. It looks like they're going to knock out my Miascarada with Charizard. Then they can knock out another one with Maxim Belt. Dude, Charizard is just such a disgusting deck. I wonder if we can go for a TM Devo play here instead. Would that ever be worth it? Maybe we could TM Devo. I don't think I'm going to take many prizes, though. Okay, they do have an Iono. There goes my hand. I had a decent hand. All right, let's see what we get. Eh, it's okay, I guess. We do have Boss. But it's not enough. I was going to say we can Boss Charizard. There's no point. Yeah, Radiant Zard sucks. It's like the one thing that hurts me out Skirata, dude, is Radiant Charizard. Actually sucks, bro. Can try to kill that other Charmander, maybe. Hmm, this actually sucks, dude. Char Radiant Charizard just actually is just so grief. Actual grief. All right, let's see. We top deck. Okay, I don't need that. Cool beans, I guess. Might have to get Alakazam. All right, Iono. What do you got for me, Iono? Anything good? Nope. No energy still. Hmm. We do have Maximum Belt. I could use the Maximum Belt against Pidgeot to try to KO it. Can't do it this turn, though. I think we're going to grab a... Get Bibberol set up here, I think. Yeah, sure. I mean... Yeah, it's fine. Do I put the Maxim Belt anywhere? Put that there, just in case. Because, yeah, if we're going to attack with the active Meowskarada, it's probably going to get knocked out. We didn't get Meowskarada anyways. Never mind. Oof. Ooh, not good. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, that's not good. I think it was worth it to get Bibberol, but we were unable to find a Meowscarada. Yikes. Could TM Devo here, but I'm not taking any prizes. There's no point. It's better to wait. So this is why I wanted to get energy earlier, because I could have maybe TM Devo the Pidgey out this turn. I think we're just stuck grasping drawing. This feels pretty bad. There's Meowth's Karados. The next card. It's always the next card. Every time. Well, we have Bokeh Magic here. We have stuff for next turn. This is like a decent hand for next turn. I even have the boss. If I can find double turbo, we can uh, knock out Pidgey on next turn with Meowth's Karata. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I don't know if they have Switch or not in the deck. That could be a big outlier here. Can they take a prize on the bench, or is it just going to be my Clef? I'm kind of hoping they don't KO something on the bench. They could prize their a Fire Energy here. They could have a Fire Energy prized. I'm not liking this, though. I do not like this. No, sir, this is not good. Not good, not good. See, Ra Radiant Charizard just sucks, man. It's, it's such a... It's one of the things that makes Charizard EX so powerful is the stupid Charizard. Because, like, it'd be so nice to be able to just abuse... Um, oh, and they have an Iono, too. Damn it. It'd be so nice to just abuse Meowth in this matchup, but they have a Fire Pokemon. It's, like, so cheesy. Okay. Uh, not bad. We did actually get some decent cards off that. Okay. I'll take it. It's a decent hand. Would have been nice to keep the other hand, obviously. But at least we have a few things to work with. They can't counter catchers. We're even on prizes. Okay. All right. I'm fine with this. This isn't actually too bad. All right, this is cool. So you can kill the active here and maybe get the Charizard. Ooh, what a top deck. Okay, so I would prefer to maybe get double Meowskarata out here if possible. I want to do double Bokeh Magic. I definitely think we kill the active here. 100% the active gets KO'd. Uh, the question is, how do I follow up? Is it better to... Iono. We have one Iono left. We could Iono them because they're going to have to get a Super Odd next turn to attack with Radiant Charizard. And then we have to figure out how to take our last prize. Hmm. Okay, we'll play this. We need to get uh, Alakazam here too. We need Alakazam. Actually, eh, yeah. No, I should have put the... Maybe I should have put on Pidgeot actually. We have Alakazam with Pidgeot. Okay, well, Bibbero first. Okay, we got the Iono. I could Iono to four. Hmm. Okay, let me Buddy Poffin. Grab another. Is that correct, or should I get, like, a Cleffa? I don't think we need a Free Tree Pivot. No, Cleffa's kind of pointless. We just need to find Alakazam here. That's our. We're, on, we're down to our last Iono, though. I have boss in hand, which is, like, kind of big. But I can also Iono them to three and make it really hard for them to get super odd energy. But they could just have super odd energy in hand. Actually, it doesn't really matter. They're probably going to get the super odd energy. I need to get another Meowth Karata next turn plus boss. Like, I think we have to Iono. Because I need to try to summon another Meowth Karata. Okay, we're close. We're very close, actually. That's good. Okay. So we'll quick search for Alakazam. Yeah, I think I should have put the damage on the Pidgeot, because I'm trying to boss for game, but I can also kill the road on it. They don't take it off the board. But yeah, I should have maybe kept the damage on the Pidgeot. Whatever. Let's do this. Let's knock out the active. They probably drew into, like, an Arvin for Super Odd or something, so they can still get there, but we'll see. All right, what's our two prizes? Grass, DTE. Uh, nothing too great, in all honesty. I don't really... My hand's a little clogged up right now. We need to be able to go boss for game. That's the plan, because otherwise we're probably just going to lose if we don't go boss for game. They still have the maximum belt in the deck, so like I'm, I can't really survive a turn or anything. Yeah, they do the super odd. Nothing I can do. Um, Maybe we can... No way I can go double Meowth Garada, right? I'm trying to think. Can I... I guess I could theoretically win the game next turn by knocking out a Charmander and a Charizard. Or my opponent had Rare Candy Charizard super odd in their Iono hand. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's annoying. But now we just need boss to win the game because they put a Charizard in play. So now actually it's a bit... Actually, this makes my win con a little bit easier. That's actually... Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. That is annoying they drew that. That was a pretty good Iono, but at least 
we have a chance to win now. Because now we can go Rare Candy Meowth out a boss for game on the Charizard EX. Okay, now we do have a line to win the game. But yeah, if they didn't evolve that, I could have knocked it out potentially. Um, And I couldn't really kill the active though, I guess. Actually, it wouldn't really matter. Can I TM Devo for game? No, not enough damage on board. If I had double, you know, if I get double Meowth Scarada, we could go there. I theoretically could. I doubt we're going to get double. If I can top deck, honestly, Meowth Scarada top deck here would be insane. Okay, they're playing Arvin. No Iono. I think what we need here is like an Ultra Ball, just a way to thin the hand down. That'd be nice. A TM Devo could be decent in this scenario. They only have one rare candy left. Hmm. They're going to go Radiant Charizard knockout. Yeah, we're basically just forced to boss next turn. That's all I can really do. It's got to be a boss. We have to go boss for game, probably. Worst comes to worst, I could try to go for, like, a TM Devo strat. Um, so that they can't, like, attack twice with Charizard. Force them to have a rare candy in their hand. Um, I don't know. It's probably not going to work, though, but we'll see. They did play the Arvin, so maybe it is possible to do that. I'm out of Iono, though, right? I have no Ionos. All right, well, here we go. It's down to this. I need to find a boss. There's no other win, right? Yeah, I can't win Pidgeot. No, that's a bad top deck. That was a bad top deck. Oof. Now I can only draw one card with Bibberol. Please be a Mascarada. That's... Nope. Wow. Oh, that is not good. That actually... I think we lose now. Our hand is too clogged up with uh, bad, unplayable cards. I think we might actually lose... If I go Meowth Karate here, they just go into Charizard. I think we have to do the TM Devo. Damn, we had Countercatcher 2. I think we got to go TM Devo here and hope that they just don't have their last rare candy in a Switch, which is unlikely, honestly. And then next turn, we can try to pop off. Okay, still winnable thanks to TM Devo. Cannot go Pidgey here. Is it worth it to kill Pidgey? Trying to think. Does it matter if I kill the Pidgey or not? Because I can't get two stage twos back out. Um no, I don't want to kill Pidgey. Because I want to make sure I can still use Countercatcher for next turn. But then I can just kill the active and win. Nah, we'll go Pidgey. It's fine. I think we kill Pidgey. I think killing Pidgey here is, is fine. If I can kill Charmander, that would be ten times better. Yeah, we'll kill the Pidgey. Because we can take a prize. We won't be able to use Countercatcher, but I don't think we're going to need Countercatcher anymore anyways. Because assuming they just don't have the nuts, they can't retreat this Charizard. I got to hope they don't have their last rare candy. If they have their last rare candy, we lose. If they don't, there is a line where we can win. And that Ultra Ball does give us a great chance. Okay, we need my opponent to basically just not have their last rare candy in their hand. If they have it, we lose. If they don't have it, we win. Unless they have a Switch. But they also can't kill my Pidgey out this turn. With Charizard. That's why I love Pidgey on the active. Okay. It's down to whether or not they have the last rare candy. If they have it, we lose. If they don't have it, I probably win the game. That's not good. Uh-oh. I could still probably win off this, but that gives them a chance to get rare candy Charizard. Okay. No shot. They have a pretty thick deck still, actually. 29 cards in the deck. No way they can find rare candy Charizard like that. Uh-uh. They don't have it. All we need to do is go rare candy Meowth and then attack Charizard, and we win. Or we boss Charmander for game. We have game in hand if my opponent does not have a rare candy Charizard. It's all down to this. Did they rock sand themselves into it? That's not it. Nope, Buddy Poffin's not it either. Yo, I dare you to bench a Cleffa, bro. Nah, they, I don't even know they put Cleffa back in the deck. They're trolling. Okay. This tells me they don't have it. Obviously, they would have just rare candied if they had it. It's all down to this. Do they got it like that? They could TM Devo me, I guess. That would be pretty annoying. But actually, they can't. And we win the game. Let's go. Whew, what a dub. Oh, we just topped like the boss anyways. Yeah, I actually farmed. Okay, let's go. All right, we beat Charizard. Like I said, this matchup is fine. It's one of our better matchups. The Radiant Charizard, though, is the only thing about this matchup that I don't like. Because they they have a way to one-shot Meowth Scarada with a Fire-type one-prizer. It's so cheesy, bro. But... We won the game anyways. We had the most clutch TM Devo. It was a close one. 
was very close, but we ended up taking the dub anyways. He's trying to have me ask here. Starting out with Cluffa is pretty sick. Kind of doesn't give away what we're playing. Are we up against Dielga though? Yo, this Dielga is actually kind of a bad matchup. We don't do a lot of damage to them. Best thing we can do is... I, I don't know. This <laughs> is such a bad matchup with Dielga. Our hand's fine. A buddy buddy Poffin would make this hand infinitely better though. We'll see. Flutter main. Okay, that's fine. What do we top deck? That would have been good going second. Alright, we can get Pidgeot at least. Uh, which is fine, I guess. Oh, wow. Two Meowskarata surprised? Not like this. Oh, God. We have Rod at least. Dude, I promised, bro, I prized my Rod and two Meowskarata. So that's actually bad. Okay, we got Belt and Devo. All my DTs are in there. All my energies in the deck. But I prized two of my Meowskarata and my Super Rod. Yikes. It's pretty bad. All right. That's uh, not good. We are playing on the back foot this game. Unfortunate. All right, well, we have a pretty good hand for next turn. We got Rickety, Pidgeot, Arvin. Maybe I just attack with Pidgeot, to be honest. I don't know. Ooh, Ancient Box. This could be a bad matchup, actually. Uh, they can one-shot Meowskarata. Considering we did prize one, it's not looking good. They're not going to attack me this turn. I don't... I can't really afford to play it slow, but I don't really want to go with Pidgeot. I don't know. We'll see what my opponent does. That's a pretty good uh, explorer. They got rid of a pal pad, so that's good. We're not going to attack this turn, which is nice. Which is unfortunate. I priced many of my attackers. That's why I'm thinking of just attacking this flutter main here. In all honesty, I might go for it. Pokey stop. Okay, they lose Sada. It's good. They're down their pal pad, which is good too. Okay. Yeah, I think we just play aggressive. I think. Okay, that's that was a good top deck. All right, so we can go rare candy Pidgeot. Uh. Grab the DT. I think we're just going to take this KO. Because we can also get rid of the Pokestop, which is good too. And then I can start to dig here for my Meowskaratas that I prize. So it does seem correct here to just play aggressive with the Pidgeot. We can't knock out Roaring Moon. But I'm kind of hoping we can get the Meowskarata next turn. That's kind of the plan. So that's thinking yeah, it's going to be what I aim for. So let's go Buddy Buddy. Grab Bidoof and this guy. And then we will... Probably gonna... I don't know if I want to Iona. I'll save the TMD vote in case I need to, like, Ultra Ball and then my hand down. All right. Knock out, discard the Pokestop. I'm not gonna play the Pokestop for the record. I'm not doing that. No siree. That is a bad idea. All right. Let's just pray they kind of don't have anything. And, uh, all right. We have a 2 and 6 chance of Meowskarata. Number 4 is not a Meowskarata. No. All right. That's not good. That, I needed the Meowskarata there. That really sucks. Okay. Let's see my opponent's got here. Can they attack? They milled a Sada. We got rid of their Pokey Stop. There's no Radiant Greninja in play. Again, the problem is I can't one-shot this thing with uh, Pidgeot. But I can maybe hit it. And then no, I can't even Meowskarata. I'm only doing 100 damage. That doesn't even work. Dang. And unfortunately, they had a Sada anyways. Rip. I don't want to lose my Pidgeot either. Man, yeah, it's so bad I had to price the friggin' things. Hate to see it. There's an Ancient Booster Capsule. That's fine. Yeah, they're two hit KO in me here, I think. This is pretty bad. Where do we top deck? That's fine, I guess. Sure. I wonder if I just go Cleffa here. They could have a boss or counter catcher in hand, I guess. I don't know. Grab Bibberol. We'll see what Bibberol gives me first. Do I want these energy retrievals? Nah, we can get rid of that for now. It's fine. Grab the beebs. I got to set up, so. Put that there. All right, here we go. I might just Cleffa for a turn. We'll see. Yep, didn't get rare candy Meowskarata. Cleffa it is. Looks like we're doing Cleffa. Uh, well, I could boss this other Roaring Moon here on the bench. I don't want to lose my Pidgeot, though. Uh, I mean, what are the chances they have a Gust in hand? They could have Countercatcher or Boss, which is kind of problematic. Honestly, bossing this other Roaring Moon might be the play. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to hope they have nothing in their hand. This deck doesn't play any Switch. There's not even a Dark Energy in the discard pile, so... Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Whatever. If they, uh, It feels bad if they knock me out, but... I, I need to I need to do damage and stuff. I need to attack, get damage on the board, and I think this is a fine play. 
As long as they don't hit Penny off this Poke Gear, this is a fine play. Uh, that's not good. Uh oh, they can retreat. I was hoping they weren't going to get a third Sada either. Yikes. Okay, Pidgeot's dead. It looks like we're going to get KO'd here, unfortunately. Unless they whiff an energy somehow, which is just not going to happen. They guarantee it every time. No. Dang it. I think that play was still fine. We just got really unlucky. They still found a Sada. Damn. I got Poke Gear 2. Or Poke Stop, sorry. Okay, they milled the boss. I don't know. Maybe I should have just went Cleffa. Maybe it was better to Cleffa there. Getting damage on the board is still very important, in my opinion. We just got unlucky. My opponent just kind of had it like that. We can finally go Meow Scarada, though. We just have to try to win this game without Pidgeot, which maybe we don't even want Pidgeot on play anymore because it is a bit of a liability. It's harder to KO. It's easier to KO Sorry, than Meow Scarada, technically, even though Meow Scarada is not that hard to KO anyways. Maybe it's okay. All right. We have the guaranteed attack. Would love to get Grass Energy to... Nope. Fudge. It's a little awkward. We get the KO, though. And <laughs> I don't think Meow Scarada dies next turn, but I am really hoping we can find a... Uh, a whatchamacallit here off the prizes. Oh, they're weak to grass. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, well, we still need damage on them anyways because of the double turbo. I forgot they're weak to grass. That's kind of funny. Okay. Please, Miascarada. Okay, there we go. We're finally back in the game. We just need to have a well-timed Iono. They're out of... They're going to run out of Sadas. They only have one left. And they're down their pal pad, so... Once we get them with a late game Iono, we should be okay. I need to work towards that, though. I can't get me Iono right away because I don't have Pidgeot anymore, which is actually a bit of a bummer. That's why I'm like, maybe I should have went Cleffa, but it's fine. It's fine. Just need to make sure we can keep attacking every turn. We can win this game. There's the Poke Stop. That's a pretty good Poke Stop. I definitely want to Iono them. They're out of uh, capsules. That's good, I guess, because it makes it easier to take multi prizes with Bokeh Magic. This is, a, gonna be, this is gonna be a close game. This is gonna be a very close game. I just wish, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe it was incorrect to like go lose my meow, lose my pitch out like that. Getting this damage on this Roaring Moon did kind of help though, but I don't know. It was incorrect to do that. I just need to make sure they don't get us another Sada. Do they even have an attack here? They should. They just need a Dark Energy. If they don't attack, we're actually chilling. Poke Gear. Uh oh. Does that get us the no Sada? Ooh. Okay, yo. Okay, they definitely have a, a Guidance. There's no way they're not going to attack this turn. Yeah. That's our last Sada, though, so that's good. That's our last Sada. But that might be enough for them to win. That's the problem. This is actually really bad. They're doing a lot of damage, too. This is just not good. This is not good. Hmm. Yeah, I need a Pidgeot in play. I think we might lose this, folks. It's not looking good. Yeah, they are... Can they knock me out this turn? No way, right? No, not even close. They're doing a lot, but they're not... I don't think they get the knockout. We need to Iono. That's why I need to find next turn is an Iono. Okay, let's see what happens. They can't counter catch her, which is nice. So they're forced to attack my active. We just need to make sure we get another Meowscarada. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get candy, though. I might have to do... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I might have to do something else, but we got this. Definitely want to set that up. We don't need to... Okay, so I think we don't have Alexam. Can't Ultra Ball. Okay, we'll play the Switch. We'll be I was thinking about playing Pokestop to try to dig for Rare Candy. Or we draw into it. Let's go. Sick. Okay, we have a multi-prize turn here, which is good. We can energy retrieval. Bokeh magic. We can knock out the bench roaring moon and the active. So this is good. All right. I guess I could have Alakazam one of the damage counters off. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, but I could have. I don't think it really matters, like I said. Okay. We can... I don't have my Turo anymore. They're never going to stall me, right? Yeah, no chance. You can just attack with a fresh Miascarada. I guess we could get punished if they can one-shot this. Maybe I shouldn't have went this route. Okay, we'll knock out the active. And then next turn, we can Iono them. We're chilling. They're out of Sada, so I think we should be okay to kind of clean this up with, an, I, and I, blah, 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 with an Iono, maybe. Got Pidgey. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want them to take a prize. They probably can take a prize this turn. It might have been incorrect to do that, actually. 
Oh, they got a weakening drum. Maybe I should have just went with the other Meowth Karata that didn't have damage on that had the damage on it, actually. That might have been an incorrect play. If they can one shot me here, they can punish me pretty badly. Okay, let's see what they're able to do. They definitely no, they're definitely one shotting me. There's no way. Okay, yeah, maybe I should have just went in with this guy. <laughs> but they could counter catch her my other Meowth Karata. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered, but now we actually could get punished because they can power up Karidon. Yeah, that was a misplay. Should have just went in with the damage Meowth Karata. They can't deck out, right? They should have Penny in the deck. Yeah, I should have went with this guy. Yeah, Retrieval. They're definitely going to KO me here. We just, like I said, need to Iono them and hope for the best. It'll basically be down to an Iono. The deck is so thin, though. Oh, this is so scary. I mean, they were going to one-shot this guy anyways, probably, but still. Can they get a Moon back? Yeah, they still have a moon in the deck. Oh, God. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Awakening drum. Yo. Okay, I was like, oh, they're going to deck out, but they're not going to deck out. There's the moon. There's the energy. This, is all, this basically comes down to an Iono, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, see, it didn't really matter. They're one-shotting me regardless. So we basically have to Iono here and hope they whiff the attack. That's all we can do. It's down to this. It's down to the Iono and hope they whiff. Is there any other play I can make? I don't think so. I don't really want to play Super Rod. Okay, yeah, we just, we gotta go, we gotta play into the Iono. I, I, yeah, we just have the Iono and pray. If we whiff Iono, we do lose, probably. I mean, we can still lose, obviously, but this is my only chance. I have the Iono and hope they whiff. They're all in there. I haven't even played an Iona yet. If I actually do not get an Iona Bibro, I don't know what to tell you. That'd be insanely unlucky. There's no way. Okay, there we go. Got Vacuum 2, which is huge. We can get rid of the Pokey Stop. All right, here we go. Iono. It's all down to this. If my opponent gets a Dark Energy off of the Iono, I do just lose the game. If they don't get it, we have a chance to win here. It's all down to this. If they get a Dark Energy, we lose. Do they have it? They're out of Sada. They still have a Vessel in the deck. I, I, they probably have it, but if they don't, this is my only chance. I own it too. If they got it, they got it. Do they have it? Is it in the hand? Let's see it. I did all I could. Vacuum Iono. They did retrieve a bunch of energy back into their hand, which is kind of what I'm thinking is the case here. But let's see it. They haven't attached it yet. They could have an Explorer's Guidance, though. They have one Guidance left. It could be prized. It could be one of their last prize. Their last Vessel and Guidance could be prized. They played four energy. No, they don't have it. And we got the dub. That was a very close game. Very, very close. Honestly, that matchup's probably unfavored just because eventually they're going to one-shot you. And unfortunately, Miascarada's ability doesn't do much in this matchup because... I mean, those things are so bulky. They're not getting KO'd anyways. And there you have, folks. That is my Meowth Skorada EX deck in action. Once again, basing it off of the Tord Charizard deck with the Pidgeot and the Bibarel split. Really did help in this video. We got a lot of value out of both Pidgeot and Bibarel. And we took some pretty nice wins against Charizard, Shempow, and Ancient Box. Showing off the power of Meowth Skorada EX in the new format. I'm not going to lie. This deck played pretty well. The only thing really missing from Meowth Skorada's arsenal is probably just the Yoga Loop Medicham. And that's about it. But that'll be for me on my Meowth Karate deck. If you all enjoyed the video on some good old Meowth Karate action here in the new format, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 59 slash 60,000 subscribers. Check out Car Kevin. If you get any codes, use CarlDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, and my second channel down below for some extra content. I got some Orlando Regionals content going up on the channel as Orlando is this weekend, and I will be in attendance. So I'm excited for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and bye-bye.